Hey everyone, Howard Pinsky here with a very sweet Photoshop tutorial. It's February, and you know what that means. Well, of course, Valentine's Day, but the day after is my birthday, and there's nothing I like more than chocolates on my birthday. So in this Photoshop tutorial, we are gonna be creating this delicious chocolate text effect using layer styles and a little bit of masking. Of course, it can be used for Valentine's Day, but my birthday is more important. Let's go ahead and begin. As for the size of the document, it's really up to you. It can vary depending on the screen resolution and personal preference. For this tutorial, I'm going to be starting with a 1280 by 720 pixel document with a very simple pink and purple radial background. Now as for the text, for a design like this as well as many text effects, a thicker font is usually best. Thick fonts give you more room to work with when applying layer styles. I'm going to be using the bubbly body font, which I found over at DuffFont.com, and then I can type out my word of choice in the center of my document. Now I'm going to be using a brown font, which is going to act as the base for the chocolate text. The value I'm going to be using is 2D1B07. And once you've gone ahead and typed out your text of choice, let's go ahead and apply some layer styles by double clicking on the layer in the layers panel. Let's start with a bevel and emboss to give our text a little bit of shape. Starting up in the structure section, we're going to keep the style at inner bevel, keep the technique at smooth, but we're going to increase the depth to 500% and then the size to 20 pixels. This will give our text a really deep shape and once we combine it with some contours, it'll really look nice. Next down below under shading, turn off global light, keep the angle at 120 degrees, but change the altitude to 50 degrees. Next, to adjust the lighting a little bit more, we're going to change the gloss contour to the rounded steps contour. And then down below, we're going to decrease the opacity of both the highlight mode and the shadow mode to 50% each. Good, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a contour to the bevel, which is going to add a little bit more shape to our text. In the contour picker, go ahead and select the Gaussian contour, and then decrease the range to around 20%. Of course, you can experiment with this value until you get a shape that you like. Finally, to finish off the bevel, let's go ahead and add a texture. When you activate your texture, go ahead and open up the pattern picker and you're going to want to select the waffle pattern. This is one of the default patterns that comes with Photoshop, but if you don't see it in your list, click on the gear icon at the top right corner, select patterns, and then press a pen to add them to the bottom of your list or OK to replace them completely. And finally, just so it's not too overpowering, go ahead and decrease the depth to around 3%. Good, the next layer style that we're going to be adding will be an inner shadow, just to give a little bit of a highlight at the top of our text. Once you've added the inner shadow, change the blend mode to overlay, change the color to white, and then increase the opacity to 100%. Next, turn off global light and change the angle to 90 degrees, set the distance at 3 pixels, the choke at 35%, and the size to 10 pixels. Perfect, now to finish off the layer styles, let's go ahead and add a drop shadow to pull the text away from the background a little bit. We're going to keep the blend mode at multiply, but decrease the opacity to 40%. Again, turn off global light and set the angle at 90 degrees, set the distance at 10 pixels, and the size at 15 pixels. And that'll do it for these layer styles. Now if you're only looking for a chocolate text effect, you can probably stop here. But to spice it up a little bit, or to sweeten it up a little bit, we're going to add a little bit of frosting over top of the text. And to do that, we want to start by duplicating the layer that we just worked on. You can very quickly do that with your Command or Control J shortcut. And once that's done, you want to clear the layer styles completely. So right click on your layer in your layers panel and choose the clear layer styles option. And once that's done, we want to change the color of this text to a nice bright pink. The value I'm going to be using will be DD4FA2. Now once that's done, before we start adding layer styles, we're going to be adding a layer mask to exclude part of the frosting. We only want it on the top quarter of the text. So with your rectangular marquee tool active, go ahead and create a selection around the part of the frosting that you want to keep. Again, I'm going to select the top quarter of our text. And when that's been done, go ahead and apply a layer mask using the icon at the bottom of your layers panel. That'll hide everything that was not selected. Perfect, now at its current shape, it's a little bit too straight. So we wanna add a filter to the layer mask to give it a little bit of curves. So to do that, make sure the layer mask is selected. You should see a white box surrounding the layer mask. And once you do, head up to the filter menu, down to distort, and then choose the zigzag filter. And once the filter is visible, go ahead and set the amount at around 20, the ridges at five, and make sure the style is set to pond ripples. And when you press okay, you're gonna see nice curves on our frosting, no more straight lines. And now we can go ahead and add some layer styles. Let's start again with the bevel and emboss. Once again, we're gonna keep the style at inner bevel. 
We're gonna keep the technique at smooth, but we're gonna increase the depth to around 300%, the size to 10 pixels, and we're gonna crank up the soften all the way to 16 pixels. Now down below, we're gonna keep the angle, the altitude, and the gloss contour as the default, but we're gonna change the highlight mode and the shadow mode both to overlay. And once that's done, we're gonna increase the opacity of the highlight mode up to 100%. Good, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna add a texture just so our frosting's not that flat. Many textures will probably work for this layer, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose the rusted metal texture, and then I'm gonna decrease the depth to around negative 300%. Finally, to finish this off, let's go ahead and add an inner shadow to the bottom of our frosting. Change the blend mode to soft light, decrease the opacity to around 40%, turn off global light and set the angle at negative 90 degrees, set the distance at five pixels, the choke at 20%, and the size to eight pixels. And that should leave you with a pretty delicious looking chocolate text effect ready for my birthday. Okay, Valentine's Day, whatever you want to celebrate. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below. Comment on what you'd like to see in a future tutorial. And make sure to check out my other Photoshop tutorials at iceflowstudios.com. Take care.